Timekeeping, properly documenting the hours you work so that you are paid correctly. Today's training snippet is for employees of the ARC Northern Chesapeake region. We will be reviewing the Ascentis Timekeeping program and the agency's timekeeping requirements. Timekeeping is an essential function for all employees, and it is the employee's responsibility to ensure that they are properly clocking in at the start of their shift and clocking out at the end of their shift. To begin, we will take a look at the Ascentis Timekeeping Program. This program can be accessed two different ways, but the way that is best for you will depend on your position. For employees working in the main office building or in any community living home, they should be clocking in and out through a desktop computer. At the main office building, this means employees will clock in and out at their desk computer. And for community living employees, this means clocking in and out through their community living home's office computer. To clock in and out through a desktop computer, follow these steps. Open the internet, visit the ARC NCR's website at arcncr.org, Locate the Team Member tab on the website menu and hover over it to reveal a drop-down menu. Select the drop-down item labeled Team Member Self-Service. Click to open the Ascentis website. Log in with your Ascentis credentials. If needed, contact the Human Resources team for help with your login information by emailing hr at arcncr.org. Once logged in to the Ascentis website, both the Home and Timekeeper tabs provide an option to punch in your time. Clicking punch at the beginning of your shift will clock you in, and clicking punch at the end of your shift will clock you out. For all other employees who work remotely, they should use the Ascentis mobile app. To use this app, it must first be installed on your smartphone. Follow these steps to install. On your smartphone, open the App Store or Google Play Store. Type Ascentis into the search bar to find the Ascentis app. Install the Ascentis app on your phone. Once installed, follow these steps to log in and punch your time. Open the Ascentis app on your phone. Type Arc Northern into the company block. Fill in your Ascentis credentials, your username and password. Again, if needed, contact the Human Resources team for help with your login information. When first using the app, follow the prompt to receive a security code for authentication and enter the code that you receive to continue. When prompted for GPS access, click to always allow GPS access when using the Ascentis app, as timekeeping GPS information is required by the ARC Northern Chesapeake region. Once logged in to the Ascentis app, there is a button labeled in to clock you in at the beginning of your shift and a button labeled out to clock you out at the end of your shift. Once the in or out button is clicked, the Ascentis app will take you to a screen to punch your time. Regardless of your position and how you are clocking in or out, be mindful of when you are punching in your times. Employees should not be punching in more than five minutes before their shift begins or punching out more than five minutes after their shift is scheduled to end without prior permission from their supervisor. In addition to punching in and out, employees may also need to transfer between different work locations, known as departments. Or they may need to transfer to different work roles on occasion, such as attending trainings or team meetings. When an employee needs to transfer, they must use the transfer feature in Ascentis. Let's start by looking at the transfer feature on a desktop computer. Log in to Ascentis, click the transfer button which is located beside the punch button. Take note of the top two text boxes that appear, department and RC. The department block refers to your work location. By default, your normally scheduled work location will be listed. Then the RC block refers to a role change. By default, your normally scheduled work role will be listed. One or both of these text blocks will need to be updated when you transfer. If only transferring to a different work location, only update the department text block. Select the magnifying glass icon in the department text block 
and choose the correct option for the work location you are about to work in. If only transferring to a different work role, such as attending a training or a team meeting, only update the RC text block. Select the magnifying glass icon in the RC text block and choose the correct option for the work role that you are about to perform. There can be multiple pages of role options, so be sure to advance to the next page if you don't see the option that you need. At the time of this recording, the training slash team meeting option was on the second page. And in the event that you need to transfer to a different work location and to a different role, both the department and RC text blocks will need to be updated. This situation may arise if a direct support staff is being cross-trained at a different work location. The department block will need to be updated to the correct work location and the RC block will need to be updated to show the correct work role. Once the department and or the RC text blocks have been updated appropriately, click the punch button for the transfer to take effect. This transfer process in Ascentis is the same on the mobile app, but with a different layout. Open and log in to the Ascentis mobile app. Open the menu in the top left corner Click the clock in slash out option and take note of the three transfer options that drop down. There is a department transfer option for only transferring to a different work location. There is an RC transfer option for only transferring to a different work role, such as attending a training or a team meeting. And there is a department plus RC transfer option for situations such as cross training where both the work location and work role needs to be updated. After clicking on the appropriate transfer option, update the text block or blocks to the correct information and click the punch button for the transfer to take effect. After using the transfer feature, employees may clock out as usual without needing to use the transfer feature again. Afterwards, Ascentis will reset to the employee's default information so they can clock in as usual at the beginning of their next shift. It is important to note that employees should never be doing work for the agency off the clock. If an employee misses a punch, they should use their work email to email their supervisor with the correct time along with a reason for the missed punch. Also, the Ascentis timekeeping program needs to be utilized by employees to schedule time off. On desktop computers, log in to the Ascentis website. Click on the Timekeeper tab. Scroll down to see the Leave Management section. Here, you can select to request leave, giving the proper advanced notice. On the mobile app, log in. Click the menu icon in the top left corner. Select the Myself menu option and scroll down to see the Request Time Off option. Using Ascentis to schedule time off is required by the agency. Employees can communicate to their supervisors about scheduling time off, but that communication does not ensure paid time off. Employees must request that time through Ascentis. Employees who miss a punch and fail to properly notify their supervisor, or who do not use Ascentis to request time off, and time is missed during the processing of payroll, the pay will be processed on the next payroll cycle. Timekeeping is an important responsibility for employees. The Ascentis timekeeping program may be used further with both the Ascentis website via a desktop computer or the mobile app to view pay time off accruals, update or review personal information such as emergency contacts and benefits information, and to review paychecks and pay information. The Ascentis dashboard also provides helpful resources for employees and agency information. And be sure to check Ascentis for important notifications and communications that will pop up through the Ascentis notification feature. The ARC Northern Chesapeake region is committed to the proper documentation of time cards and payment for time worked at the agency. Please reach out to the Human Resources Department or your supervisor if you have any questions or concerns about timekeeping. 
Thank you for watching this training snippet and thank you for choosing to work at the ARC Northern Chesapeake region, where together we are empowering people with differing abilities to live, work, and thrive in the community.